Hello, I decided to do a video blog to document the events of the last few days because they're so extraordinary. Uh, let's see, Monday night, did vocals in the studio, realized that my dashboard lights weren't working and that we had a trip back to Massachusetts on Wednesday, so I brought my car into the shop and left it there for Tuesday, took the train into the city, got caught with an unexpected downpour which soaked me to the bone, which was okay, except that I had my laptop in my backpack, and that scared me. So I remembered that in my backpack I had my, uh, let's see if I can show you, WFUV rain poncho. Woo! -hoo! So I covered me in the laptop. I, I'm obscuring the, I can't tell because it's backwards. Anyway, there we go. Um, there it is, WFUV, thank you WFUV, you saved my laptop. Then, went, got home to the train station, my husband picked me up, dropped me off at the car place, got my car, driving home, and actually was gonna stop to get gas so I didn't have to do it the next morning to go to Massachusetts. Driving home, got slammed by three 20 year olds who were driving a car like idiots. Um, but they were very sweet and I decided not to call the police or report it to insurance because the only thing that got hurt was this finger, which I don't think you can see it, but it, it's all black and blue. Um, I don't know why that finger got hurt and nothing else. My back hurts, but that could be from, I don't know, stress. Um, okay, so rain, car accident. Okay, so then we drive up to Massachusetts. Fabulous, beautiful, sunny day, clear as can be. And then this happened. All right, I'm recording. This is ridiculous. This is our gig. As you can see, we're freaking out because we're surrounded by a river. <laughs> and, um, and my iPhone still says it's not going to rain. <laughs> and there goes our audience. And I'm really going to cry because my keyboard got wet. Oh, my God. And the gazebo has a leak. Why? <laughs> well, we're assessing the damage here. I mean, everything is soaking wet. Oh, no. <laughs> my tip hat. <laughs> Wait, I don't know if you can see. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh no and look it's the sun but it's still raining I don't understand is there a message oh I don't want to show that to John he's gonna be mad we had no, it was not our fault it just started out of nowhere but look at the mailing lists are all soggy oh it's so sad snap a picture of my guitar all that like oh that. I'm gonna videotape his poor guitar I don't even have towels I think it's waterproof oh good well, it's the rain stopping, so... <laughs> maybe you sound checked with the wrong song. Oh, maybe <laughs> that was it. Well, now No Weather Down is going to have a whole new meaning. Oh, I'm sad. I'm like sad on a whole sad... Shut up! I'm talking! <laughs> oh, man. Crazy. All of the story is... The sun came out and the people are starting to come and I could just cry because I just think it's so sweet. And actually one guy brought me a towel to sit on. So the lesson is there's a lot of kindness. So I'm happy. So I guess I lost my composure a little bit there at the end. I was very emotional because all these people wound up coming and they were waiting in their cars around the perimeter of the the commons and they all came out and came up and thanked me and Warner for sticking around and it was very very heartwarming and my friend Barbara Kessler came with her kids and they actually went out into the audience and sold CDs for me so that was really sweet and I just felt very very thankful and very grateful after it and so here are my thoughts about touring and making your life better um, for future. So note to self and to any other musician out there. Always have <clears throat> extra large garbage bags. When you do outdoor gigs, so in case it starts to pour, you can just throw garbage bags over everything because that would have made a huge difference. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, oh, always have dry socks. 
in your vehicle because I'll tell you at the end of the night when I was drenched and it was nighttime even though it was summer it was cold and it was nice to dry my feet up and put on dry socks and shoes and a sweatshirt so and I guess the last lesson is to always be grateful for everything because Warner my my partner in crime and guitar player was just he was just a, a champ I mean just helped get everything together and kept so calm and collected and that made a huge difference thankful for my friends like Barbara and my new ones that I met at Grafton yesterday who just came up and told us how much they loved us and made everything worthwhile and thankful that I still get to do this